two seating areas, so I ain't. I ain't. I ain't. <laughs> Hey Happy Campers, it is Savannah with Cookville RV and Marine and today we're going to be taking an inside and outside look at this 2024 Keystone Cougar 33RLI. But before we get started, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and head on over to our Google and leave us a review saying that you love these videos and I would really appreciate that. Now, let's get started. In your outdoor entertainment space, you have lots of options to have a fun party out here. As you can see, I'm standing under one of our two awnings. So if it is a sunny day and that sun is just a little too bright and you wanna shade things up a little bit, you can extend these really easily from your control panel inside and you have a nice and shady party area. Also out here, we do have two LED light strips and you also have an indoor outdoor speaker system. So you can turn some music on inside your camper and also have it out here for your party space. Also out here, we do have our key TV, satellite hookups, and electrical outlets. This allows you to have a TV out here in your party space so you can really liven things up out here and have a good time. Now, let's check out the storage. In the front of your camper, you have your pass-through storage space. This is perfect to put all of your hoses or other items that might get dirty while you're out at the campground. You can easily place them under your camper out of the way and they've also given you this nice easy to clean floor so if those do get a little bit dirty when you store them down here it's a very easy to clean this space out also down here you do have an led strip so if it is nighttime you can easily see down here to access all of your things you also have your solar hookup down here and just some other items you might need to access and this actually isn't the only storage space that you have in this Cougar. On the driver's side of your camper, opposite from your entertainment space, we do have an extra little storage capacity right here. This is a big open space and it does have carpet in here. So you might wanna take that into consideration when you're placing some things that might get a little bit dirty down here. Still easy to clean, but not as easy to clean as that pastor storage up here. We have lots of space up here. You can put luggage or any other items that you might want down here. Now, let's check out the inside. When you first walk into this Cougar, there is a couple interesting things. So right off the bat at our door, they have added this little blind right here. A lot of other campers don't come with these, but Keystone did a good job in adding this in here. And that's a plus just if you want that down or up, you can easily do that right at your door. Across from our entryway, we have our in-command touchscreen control panel. This control panel has all the things you're going to want on it. It has your lights, your awnings, and a couple other features, and it is really easy to use. So don't worry if you're not very technology savvy. It's very easy and you can figure it out really quick. Now, let's check out the kitchen. In your kitchen, you have this amazing pantry area over here. I love that this does give you a couple storage options and you also have this nice counter space right here. Personally, I would use this as my own coffee bar. I would set up my Keurig right here, plug it in on your electrical outlet and have all the stuff just sitting out right here. It'd be really cute. You also have this cabinet up here. This is perfect to have your glasses or other things in because you can kind of see through that. So you can look in there and see if you have some clean glassware before you grab anything out. Down below, we also have a little bit more storage. This is perfect for kind of a catch-all area. So you walk in your door, just throw anything you want in here, bags, keys, other items. Also up here with your electrical outlet, you do have a USB and USB-C port. So you have some great options there. Moving on, we have more pantry space. This opens up on both the top and the bottom, giving you plenty of room in here. You could store some full-size cereal boxes in here, other food items, maybe even a dog or cat food bag in there. You have lots of room. Behind me, we have one of our slides in the camper, and in this slide, we have our Furion fridge, and I love this fridge. It is huge. You could, oh, gotta put my Stanley in there. Water break. You have plenty of room in here. You can put all your groceries up here. And then you also have a freezer, plenty of room for your popsicles, ice cream. Over here, we have more storage right here. Perfect for your spices. Honestly, this is really open little space right here. If you did want to put some pots and pans in here, you could fit them in there. You have plenty of other room other places, but I just wanted to tell you all that's really open. Also, you can see that backsplash in there, which I love. It's kind of that gray, like brick look. Very cute, very homey. I love that. Also, over here, we do have our Furion microwave. Underneath it, we have our typical three burner stove top with that splash guard on that. Underneath, you do have your stove, or not your stove, sorry, your oven. And then down here, 
just an extra little drawer. I would probably put my spatulas and other stuff in that because it is a little bit shallow, but you could put that stuff in there. Maybe even some placemats and different things like that. You have more storage on both sides. Again, pots and pans would fit great down there. And now let's check out my favorite part, the kitchen island. One of the best things about having a rear living floor plan is that you are able to have an island in your kitchen. And this is my favorite part of the kitchen. It just makes everything feel a little bit more homey, like you're at home and not in a camper. And this camper really does feel like you're at home. And let's check this thing out. So one of my favorite things about this is the corners are rounded. This is great. The height that I am, I hit my hips on literally everything. So having these rounded corners, I've run into it a few times. It doesn't hurt at all. If you have some little munchkins running around, they're not gonna hit their head on that sharp corner. It's very easy and it's not super hard, so you're okay. Also in here, we do have lots of storage. They've given you four drawers over here. Perfect to have all your silverware and other items in. Maybe you just wanna have a junk drawer up here. You have plenty of space. They've also given you this massive storage compartment right here. You can put so much cleaning supplies under here. You could even have a full size garbage can under here, which is very nice to have in your kitchen. You wanna have that kind of hidden away down there. Perfect space for that. We also have a sink up here, and this is different from unit to unit, I've noticed, but this one does have a divided sink, so you can do your dishes on one side and have other things in the other. You just want a place to wash your hands, and they've even given you these little placemats. You can draw stuff right on here, so that's awesome. And over on this part, they've given you this little open kind of cabinet area. You could throw some fun little china in there, maybe a cookbook, or even a couple wine bottles. You want to show those off, just have them cute and sitting there. You can do that too. Now, let's check out your dinette. In your kitchen area, you also have this lovely dinette. This dinette is super sturdy, and I love this like wood grain finish they've given you here. It's very cute and aesthetic. You have four seats in here, so you can eat a meal with the whole entire family. Another plus to this area is there are windows all around us, so if you wanna eat your dinner with a view of the gorgeous campground you're gonna be at, you can do that too. Now, check out the living space. In our living area, we do have two different seating options. One is this trifold sofa that I'm actually sitting on right now, and let me tell y'all, it is super comfortable, perfect for all of your visitors to come and watch a game and sit right here. Also, if you need an extra space for people to sleep, this does fold out into a bed, so they do have a place where they can sleep, and they also have a place to store all of their items. I'll get up and show y'all this up here. This is a little extra storage space right up here. These three open right up. It is pretty roomy back there. They could put some small bags, other items, or if you wanna store some other things like your laptops, maybe some board games or other items, you have that room up there as well. Also back here next to this sofa, we do have two little side tables right here with storage inside. This is perfect to set your snacks, maybe your game time drinks or other stuff. You can put stuff right in here and there is an electrical outlet and a USB and USB-C port right there. So if you do wanna charge some of your items, you can do that there as well. Now, let's check out the other seating space. Also in your living space, you do have theater seats. These are awesome for if you do wanna watch the game or if you wanna watch a movie, you have these comfortable seats that do also recline. Right here, you have buttons that can easily lean these seats back and you also have a USB port right here. So if you do wanna charge some electrical items as well, you can do that. You also have two cup holders right here. It looks like there might be a little light above these, so you can light that up at night. It gives you a little bit of light back here. Also, you do have some storage right here. This is kind of smaller, but it does give you room for remotes, maybe even a small book or two, or if you wanted to throw a tablet in there, you could do that as well. Also, we are in the same slide right here as your dinette, and they have given you a light dimming option in here, so if you want to eat maybe like a little romantic meal with the lights down a little bit or you just want them dimmed a little bit while you watch the game, you can do that here too. Now, let's check out that TV where we'll be watching the game from. Across from your theater seats, you have your entertainment space and in your entertainment space, they've given you this huge TV in here. This is a smart TV and it's also on a swivel. So you can move this out and allow you to see it from every space in the camper. If you wanna watch it while you're cooking or maybe sitting at your dinette or at either of your seating options, you can easily move that so everybody can get a good view. Also in this space, we do have our indoor outdoor speaker system. This allows you to control those speakers that I did show you out there in your entertainment space. 
Also, they have given you a fireplace in here. This does act as a heat element during those cold winter months if you wanna warm things up in here, or you can just use it as a lighting option in here as well. Also, a fun thing about this little area over here, they've given you plenty of storage. So up here, we do have these two little cubby holes, perfect for board games or other items in here. And check out the storage that's behind the TV. Back here is this kind of hidden storage space. So they have given you a couple shelving options back there. And this is perfect just for all those items you kind of want out of the way. But they've also given you an electrical outlet back there. So if you do have some gaming consoles you want to take the campground with you, you can easily put those in back there, plug them up, connect them to your TV, and you're ready to go. Now, let's check out the bathroom. In your Cougar, they've given you this nice size bathroom with lots of storage options. Starting out, we do have our sink over here with plenty of counter space up here. They've also given you an electrical outlet, so if you do want to bring some hair styling tools to the campground with you, you can easily plug those in here. Also above your sink, you do have your medicine cabinet. That opens up and has some storage options in there. They've given you a couple shelves, perfect for all your toiletries. And under your sink, you do have another little cabinet space in there. You can easily store some toilet paper or other items. Now let's check out over here all of this storage options. Usually in bathrooms, you don't have this much cabinet space, but they've given you a lot back here. This opens up and gives you plenty of room for your towels, maybe a robe, even more toiletries, anything you want back there. You also have this open little area right here, perfect for toilet paper or if you wanna put your towels in there so they're easy to see so you know what is clean. Also in this area, you have a hanging rack for your towels for when you get out of the shower and you also have your step to flush toilet. And behind me, you have this super large shower back here. This is plenty of space and good for your tall people. You also have a skylight in here. So if you like a little bit of natural lighting while you're getting ready, you have that. They've given you some little shelving units in here, perfect for your shampoo or soaps, other items. And you also have a detachable shower head in here. This is perfect to wash your hair or if you're bringing a dog with you and you want to give them a little bath, you can do that as well. Now, let's check out the private bedroom. Before we head into the bedroom, I forgot to mention to you guys, if you are wanting to take this camper on a long weekend where you're washing your clothes, this camper actually is washer dryer prepped and that area is in this super large cabinet in the bathroom. That little shelving unit in there easily removes, so you can put that washer dryer unit in there and you're ready to go. Now, let's check out the bedroom. In your bedroom, you have a cozy king size bed and you also have plenty of storage options. Some of those options are behind me. You have these two little storage units up here. You can easily open those up and store some clothes in there if you want maybe a small bag or any other items. Also on both sides of the bed, you do have your own personal window and you have your own personal electrical outlet and a USB and USB-C port. So you can plug in all of your items, CPAP machine, phone, whatever you want. And there's plenty of other storage space. So let's check that out. We have this huge closet right here. This door does open up and you have a mirror on both sides. Easy for you when you wanna get ready in the morning. This closet is super large, you guys. I can easily get right in here. There's so much room. It goes all the way back. You also have a hanging rod in here. So if you do wanna hang up some of your clothes, if you wanna put your bags down here, or if you have plenty of shoes like I do and you wanna set those up in here, very cute area to do that. Across from your bed, you have even more storage options. You do have this lovely dresser area. This gives you a nice dresser right here with a little countertop so you can put all of your items up here. I would throw some jewelry up here, maybe my purses or other items. Below you have plenty of drawers. These are actually super deep, nice to place all of your clothes or other items. And they've even given you an electrical outlet right here, some TV hookups and another USB and USB-C port. Above, you have a couple more cabinet space up there. So you are not pressed for room in this bedroom back here. You can place all of your stuff and even if you have some guests and they have lots of luggage as well, you're gonna have plenty of space to do that. So if you like this unit or any other unit in our Keystone line, make sure you give us a call or visit us at covrv.com where your adventure awaits.